Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms chapter 27, verse 14, King James Version. Patience is a virtue that few of us have. We live in a busy world and rush through life trying to get ahead. Even on our roads and highways, everyone seems to be in a hurry to get to their destinations. This has oftentimes resulted in vehicular accidents. I have a magnet on my refrigerator door that says, Give me patience, Lord, but hurry. I get impatience waiting for others because I like being on time. I don't like it when I'm cruising on the road and other drivers cut me off. I always say that if you are rushing or driving too fast, then you simply didn't wake up on time. In the Bible, Abram and his wife are prime examples of impatience. God told Abraham that Sarai was going to bear a son. Instead of being thrilled at his news, Sarai lost and doubted God's words. She thought she was too old to bear children. So instead of waiting on the Lord and claiming his promise that Abram was going to be the father of many nations, they took matters into their own hands. Sarai offered her maidservant as a surrogate mother in order to provide her husband with a son. They simply didn't have the patience to wait for God's spoken word to come true. The decision they have made so long time ago has brought a lot of discord into our world today. On the other hand, we read about the story of Hannah who was childless and desperately wanted a son. She fervently prayed and waited patiently for the Lord to grant her request. After many years, she finally conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel. When the boy was old enough, Hannah took him to the temple as she had promised God she would. She gave little Samuel to the Lord to serve him. He eventually became a great prophet in Israel. Hannah had learned through waiting on God that he answers prayers according to his purposes. Only he could make her life complete. I pray for patience every day. I have learned that God answers prayers in different ways and I just have to wait on Him. He is never late. He answers our prayers in the right time and place. I need to put my trust in Him and give Him full control of my life. Rona Grace Magpayo So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and let's share your thoughts.